Abuja Studios in Nigeria. This is Newsbeat on Internet Television International. I am Christine Opera. In the news, First Lady inaugurates NGO in Akwaibom State. EFCC's forensic unit head assassinated in Kaduna State. Underwear bomber Abdul Mutalab fires U.S. lawyer. Banky W. JJC Pisque up for mobile awards. These and more stories coming up shortly. Nigeria's First Lady Mrs. Patience Jonathan on Tuesday inaugurated the Akwaibom State Chapter of the Women for Change Initiative with a call on women to seek more elective positions. Jonathan, who arrived the state on a two-day working visit, also canvassed 35% representation for women across the 36 states. She expressed worry that only 8% of the women were represented at the federal level, saying that in some states, women were not adequately represented. Jonathan said that the W4CI would advance the economic well-being of women in the society. She guaranteed the mass that gathered at the venue that women were not into competition with the men in any form. She explained that Kaduna, Anambra and Enugu had approved 35% of formation for women representation while calling on the Akwaibom state government to do the same. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, has confirmed that its head of forensic unit, Abdullahi Muwazu, was killed in Kaduna this morning. Femi Baba Femi, spokesperson for the Antigraft Agency, said that Muwazu had traveled to Kaduna to spend the end of Ramadan holiday with his family who have been living there. Baba Femi also confirmed that the late head of forensic unit also frequents Kaduna and other parts of the country for assignments as he was always the witness for the anti-graft agency in cases which involved tendering of forensic evidence. The circumstances surrounding the death of Muazu is still hazy, though sources say that he was slaughtered just like Garuba Bello, the 54-year-old operative of state security services who was killed along with his wife and three children in Kano yesterday morning. Baba Femi said investigations into the murder has already begun. The Special Fraud Unit SFU for CID Milverton Road, Ikoi, Lagos, Nigeria, has declared the managing director of Springbank PLC, Mrs. Ayodele Olushola, wanted over an alleged 5.208 billion naira fraud in the bank. The MD was declared wanted following her failure to report at the SFU after an arraignment notice had been served on her twice. The arraignment notice to take her and others to court over the alleged 5.2 billion naira fraud in the bank was first served on 12th August 2010, while the second one was served on her and others on the 31st of August 2010. A source at the SFU revealed that on getting wind of her arraignment before a law court over the alleged fraud, Mrs. Olushola fled to the United States of America. The Springbank MD, who was named as an accessory to the 5.2 billion naira fraud in the bank, which involved the National Sports Lottery PLC and Strand Capital Partners Limited, was charged to court along with Michael Ajama, Lanre Odulami, Awele Nwaboshi, Gladys Okebelama, and Olubukola Muradeo. The charges include conspiracy to steal, obtaining by false pretense, forgery and accessory after fact of stealing. The case which was first mentioned on 5th August 2010 but was adjourned to 7th October 2010 as neither the suspects nor their lawyers were in court. The court has however mandated the Special Frauds Unit SFU to produce the suspects for arraignment on the next adjourned date 7th October 2010. The Nigerian-born underwear bomber and son of Nigeria's aristocracy Farouk Abdul Mutalab has fired his court-appointed lawyers and raised the possibility of pleading guilty to some charges. Abdul Mutalab, who pleaded not guilty in January to trying to blow up a trans-Atlantic flight on Christmas Day over Detroit, Michigan, said his lawyers were not serving his best interests and asked the judge to let him represent himself. Farouk is a Nigerian citizen and son of the multi-millionaire banker and former chairman of First Bank in Nigeria, Al-Haji Abdul Mutalab. He was trained in Al-Qaeda camps in Yemen and was traveling to the U.S. last December when he tried to blow up a Northwest flight as it approached the Detroit Metro Airport. But his bomb failed to detonate as planned, causing him to suffer third-degree burns around his genitalia. The failed attack led to the further efforts by the Obama administration to strengthen U.S. airline security. In a court filing ahead of his appearance, Abdul Mutalab's lawyer said 
They had met in person and by phone on multiple occasions with government counsel to discuss options for the resolution of the case. To entertainment news now, Banky W, JJC and P Square were among the nominees announced for this year's Mobile Awards. The trial are all up for Best African Act of the Year in the star-studded nominee list. The 2010 Mobile Awards will take place at Liverpool Echo Arena on October 20th, 2010. Other notable nominees include Tao Cruz, Shade and Dizzy Rascal. Winners of the awards will be determined by the voting public. Only the best in jazz and gospel are not up for public voting. The Mobile Awards go past no Nigerian nominees for the Mobile Best African Act includes Tony Tetwila, P-Square, Nice, LD, Femi Kuti, Neka, and Two-Face Edibia. This is the first time JJC and Banky W have been nominated. In its 15th year, the Mobile Awards, which was founded by Kanye King in 1996 to celebrate the urban music scene in Europe, has recently, however, celebrated music from all over the world. And with this, we wrap up News Beats. I am Christine Opera. Thanks for loving us.